Hi, my friends. Hi, hi, hi. So welcome to our channel English, yeah, professionally. And you know, I try to do my best yet yeah, to record this great video, how to stop translating into your own language and how to start thinking in English. I think that's a great video. You can support it with your likes and shares. Yeah, so maybe uh, the weather isn't, you know, perfect. But anyway, yeah, life goes on. And so we have to do other things, yeah. So we have no choice. So why not? I think that it's a great opportunity and I need uh, to grab this opportunity. Okay, so you see. And uh, I have just, you know, a small question for you. Uh, guess where I'm going? Where I I'm going, right. So actually I'm going to record one more great video related to English speaking mostly, you know, for advanced English uh, speakers. So it's called 150 English phrases for advanced speakers. For speakers, you know, at an intermediate or an advanced level. On my second channel, English with Alexander. Okay, you can subscribe to it if you haven't done it yet. Okay, so, you know, just... Uh, I see lots of information, maybe 10 phrases, 30 phrases, 50 phrases, but it isn't enough. And the thing is that uh, most of these phrases are without examples. And uh, I believe that it isn't good enough, yeah, to master your speaking skills. And so I decided to prepare a great video. So a list of all these phrases, yeah, not only for beginners and intermediate students, but for higher levels too, with examples. And I'm going to make this video quite short. Okay, so you know that actually I'm walking yeah, in the park uh, at present, and so the way isn't long and isn't short at the same time, but I believe that uh, I'll get there, I'll get to my apartment, so in about 40 minutes. It's just the way is... Uh, you see, is through the park or through the forest. It's like a, a small forest, yeah? Okay, maybe seven or eight kilometers. Okay. Oh, my friends. So just uh, let me know what you think about this idea, about uh, recording, you know, this uh, great video. And I try to prepare all the videos on our second international channel, English with Alexander, beforehand. So that's the difference. You know, just uh, I try to save your time. So as for me, I spend more or less the same time, but I believe that it's more comfortable for you. Okay, by the way, yeah, we are going to talk about this very important subject. And I have a question for you, just one more question, okay? So, are you a native speaker or are you a non-native speaker? So, it means that, so, where were you brought up? In English-speaking country or in another country, okay? So, okay, so you are more likely to say that uh, actually English isn't your mother tongue. Okay, why not? So it's good. Yeah, actually um, uh, we are in the same boat, yeah, so... And it relates to me as well. I mean that uh, I was uh, brought up in Russia and I'm still living in this country. Okay, but it doesn't mean that you can't learn, you know, a foreign language and you can't master your skills uh, greatly. I mean that so that you have an advanced, a strong level, a strong advanced level in English. Not only in English grammar, not only in English listening, but primarily, or first of all, in English speaking. Yeah, really, you need to be a very confident and natural English speaker. Okay, and the first step, how you can stop Translating in your head is that you need to lose fear. Uh, most students are afraid, oh, we can't, it's so difficult, we don't know enough English words. But I believe that, so if people think so, they're completely mistaken, completely mistaken, okay? So it can't be so. And if we look at uh, different researchers, yeah, so if you see it, okay, I think that there is too much snow here, just I need to get back a little bit. And if you look at uh, different, uh, you know, researches, so they mostly say that 
uh, 500 or 700 words is enough to uh, speak English and to get your ideas across so that other people can understand you in other words to make yourself understood it's enough so maybe 1000 words not more not more or maybe 200 300 for a start just something you need to start with something okay and so the first idea put all your fears aside just uh, don't feel awkward or uncomfortable don't think that other people will laugh at you okay you know there is one very you know famous english saying i really like it okay he loves who loves lust it means that okay people can laugh at you but don't pay attention to, to it yeah so you'll have great results and so okay they won't be able to catch up with you okay my friends so lose your fear yeah the most important thing yeah just uh, don't pay attention to other people's words criticism so you know there are always people who will be ready to criticize you when you're successful or when you're unsuccessful it makes no difference it makes no difference so uh, these uh, things uh, have always existed okay uh, the second thing I'd like to draw your attention to is that you need to start looking for simple words first of all yeah when you think in your own language I'm, I mean that you mostly use very difficult words and let me give you just uh, a short but very clear example and I'll try to make this example crystal clear for you okay so just you know I want to say maybe it was a huge success it was a huge success or it was a tremendous success it was a gigantic success it was a gigantic success okay so do you know these these words you know tremendous huge gigantic maybe yes maybe not okay but uh, maybe these words are a little bit difficult for you okay that's normal don't worry yeah it's okay just you can replace these words replace these words with more simple ones you can say okay it was a very big success it was a very big success yeah you see just uh, it's just a method of simplification when you simplify everything all right so you see okay you might well think yeah uh, anyway it's still so difficult for me uh, you see just uh, success i need to know this word okay don't worry you can do without this word yeah so you can say i did it very well i did very well or i did it i did it. i did it very well so i did it and it was very good just use simple phrases and you know when i speak english so other people often tell me okay your english is so simple and so clear yeah but why not what i should use you know very complicated phrases or very difficult uh, phrases or expressions you know that first of all i speak english for communication yeah just the first and most important thing for me and so i can do no, without uh, difficult words in English and if you give me a list let's say of 300 or 500 words I think that I can express everything and you don't need to know English tenses just uh, basically three uh, main English tenses present simple past simple and future simple yeah it's desirable to know it yeah so and uh, the thing is that yeah you may have uh, come up with um, you know another idea so okay if we just need to know these uh, number of words this number of words 300 500 why do we why do other people uh, try to learn you know much more words much more than me and i have a question uh, you know that when you communicate you speak and listen so maybe this number of words 500 words is enough uh, for you uh, right to express everything uh, you want uh, but anyway you need to understand your partner 
or your speaker and you need to know much more words so because of that or when you listen to a program so in English you also need to actually to increase your vocabulary uh, to have a much larger vocabulary all right my friends so you see and um, uh, one more there is one more important point so you just got this knowledge this uh, basic knowledge but uh, the question is when will I be able to do it to stop translating you need to start thinking in English so everywhere and all the time for example yeah I'm walking yeah, in the park and I can just try to say uh, what is happening at the moment what is happening at the moment okay I can say I'm walking in the park I'm walking in the park and you know first you try maybe to translate this uh, sentence and it'll be difficult but when you've translated this phrase or sentence let's say uh, you know 100 times so it will be automatic it will it will be automatic it will happen automatically for, for me yeah just I'll try to actually use another hand for holding my device because it's a little bit cold you see but uh, I try to I'm trying to do my best yeah because uh, I have only this time all right so uh, you see uh, yeah, it's cold, uh, and if you ask me about the temperature, maybe it's about uh, 7 degrees below zero, but it's okay, you know. I firmly believe that we need uh, yeah, to spend some time on learning English, but we can't uh, forget about looking after our health, and uh, some vigorous exercises are absolutely essential. Okay, uh, so you see... Yeah, and you need to translate simple sentences many times. So, for example, I'm speaking English. I'm going uh, to my apartment or I'm going to work. Yeah, it's snowing. It's snowing. It's cold. It's really cold. Yeah, so the first method is about description. When you describe different things. Yeah, but you know, it's quite easy. And a, little sim and a little bit simple or maybe primitive or trivial in some way uh, I believe that uh, it's much more useful uh, to first of all to translate uh, you know your uh, plans so what you are going to do or what you'll do let's say tomorrow the day after tomorrow or what you did yesterday for example uh, yesterday I went to work I met my friends yeah we had a great time uh, together yeah I was uh, tired uh, the work was uh, really difficult but everything was okay in the end and for example my plans for the future uh, you know my English isn't perfect okay but it's getting better and better it's better and better I do exercises I watch this channel and so on that's first of all yeah how to stop translating you need to translate you need to translate you can't do without it so and when you translate you see maybe uh, 10 times 100 times uh, 500 times yeah uh, you'll uh, be able you know actually um, to get out yeah, of it of this uh, situation and uh, you'll be able yeah, uh, to speak English naturally but the thing is that anyway uh, maybe um, try to actually think what you see for example I see many people I see many people and start to translate immediately and uh, if you can't do without translation is better but it will be without it will be with the uh, simple words uh, first so maybe people cars houses so okay I see a car so I see a, you know, a man, I see a woman, and just start with simple words, okay? And this method really works. And for more progress, you can, you know, take notes, you can take notes in English, 
So if you want uh, to stop translating English in your head, it isn't only about speaking. You need to listen a lot all day when you stay at home and do other things. You need to write something in English. For example, taking notes. Okay, it would be great. You need to have some conversations. So lots of English, English speaking. So as for reading, yeah, I'd rather read uh, books in English, yeah? Okay, my friends, I hope this tips are very useful for you, yeah? And just, um, okay, there is enough food for thought. And uh, just let me, tell me what you know, what you think about all this. And maybe you know, you have some knowledge deep or not so deep, yeah? Anyway, uh, thank you, my friends, yeah? Uh, all right, and just, um, yeah, I have to prepare this amazing video. And you can have a look at it on our second channel English with Alexander, my friends. Thank you. I think that uh, it's okay too if I don't wear glasses, because you know I wear glasses, but not all the time. Okay, my friends, thank you. Bye bye. Good luck. Bye.